YouTube, Paternoster here. I'm back after a bit of a break for my own wedding, so I suppose I should pay attention to that. But now I am back. Just before I go on a bit of a holiday, I'm bringing you a review I've been writing in between um, all my other things that have been going on in my life. But the reason I am talking about this particular product is because I used it to write my speech for the wedding and of course ladies and gentlemen it is uh, this keyboard yes I used it I thought that would be the best way to test out how well it types uh, and of course I played some games on it played a lot of games on it actually in between to try and you know de-stress relax and whatnot um, but this guys is gonna be a quick review of the Logitech G810. Now first of all I did an unboxing and you can have a look at that right here. But this keyboard I have to say is the best typing experience I have ever ever had and I even took it to work because I really really loved it that much. I was typing up all sorts of emails and I really really liked it but it is it's got the num lock key so that's okay that's cool you I don't think keyboards should not have them um, using number pins and codes and even doing small calculations are so much easier using numpads without it I feel the the whole keyboard is bare now the amount of praise I have for this keyboard is really 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 big because the keys work really nicely the software is fantastic the Logitech software is really without bugs so far anyway in my experience at the moment I've got a little RGB um, showcase running I haven't played around with uh, what it can do but obviously you know you can set any color to any key and any sort of pattern and you can do waves you can do the um, color changing over things which is sort of what it's doing now a bit of both I suppose um, but the thing with these Orion switches is they kind of are between the reds and the blues they have a bit of click and they have a little bit of so like a very quick actuation point and I think that's what makes them perfect for typing quick actuation point and a click so you've got the auditory notification that you've clicked the button and you have this small travel time so you don't have to really press in to the key to to make your letter or whatever pop up on the screen and that I think is what makes these switches really really good now for the last however long I've been using my Corsair keyboard and that's got the uh, Browns MX Brown Cherry switches and I've had an issue I've had a problem I've run into a problem I really like this keyboard absolutely love it and I wanted to make this keyboard my main keyboard but my friends there is a reason I didn't do it and it's a very very stupid reason it's a very stupid reason but it's kept me from changing in gaming I do like my wrist rest in typing not so much uh, at home do I do more typing no not really I do more gaming at work more typing the other thing is Here's G keys. Logitech has made this keyboard look slim, sexy, and absolutely gorgeous. But what they forgot to add is some G keys. Even the old G710 Plus had some G keys on the side, which would have been useful. And for things like macros or saying GG at the end of the game, or uh, you know, need to get ammo, need to get mana, things like that, those keys were fantastic. You could program them into anything. Or they could, you know, do enter, type, 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 enter, and that would, you know, pop up in your chat. And I really, really use that a lot on my Corsair, which has a lot of little G keys, programmable micro, macro keys, and it's missing from this. My friends, this is the best typing keyboard I have ever used, but it is marketed as a gaming keyboard. Logitech, I don't know. I don't know. It's so good at typing. But it's missing those gamery G keys. But of course, it has multimedia keys stop, music, left and right, um, and of course, mute. And one of the little bonuses I have to say is this scroll wheel for sound levels. It is the best scroll wheel I have ever seen on a keyboard, let alone any other gadget. It's smooth, it spins, it's got a rubber uh, grip, and it just feels 
solid because sometimes you spin it and it just feels clunky. This is not clunky. Now, this keyboard retails around 100 to 200 actually. It's, it's a very odd one. JB's got it for 200, uh, PLE's got it around 120. Um, so, this is a fairly expensive keyboard. But, guys, if you're gonna do more typing than gaming, this is the keyboard for you. That will still look a bit gamery and can still set up those RGB keys. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in about one or two weeks again. Bit of a break. Gotta get away, and this, guys, is the best typing keyboard I have ever used! Oh my gosh! And I'll see you next time.